Hi everybody, welcome back to another unboxing and today we will be unboxing two katanas. We will be unboxing the day and the night katana. So let's do it. So here we have the day katana, comes in a box, very good box. I have to mention that in every video because uh, I don't know what else to say, but let's open it. So, so the day and the night katana are like sister swords. So they look really nice together in a set and they're very fun katanas. So this one is the day katana. So this right here is our day katana. As you can see, it comes in a white sheath. That's probably where it gets its day name from. Uh, and it's got a really, really nice suba. You can kind of see it. Now this sword isn't bad already. So this is our carbon steel sword. Um, but again, it's a very nice display piece. And I'll show you the best part, which is, let me flip this around, right over here, this like nice little dragon design we have on this katana. It's super, super cool and just makes the katana look like, I don't know, it, it's giving something. I just don't know what it is yet, but it's very cool. Uh, I really like the dragon. It kind of reminds me of Dragon Ball Z, dragon from Dragon Ball Z. Um, but I haven't like, it actually doesn't now that I think about it. It reminds me of another dragon that I'm thinking of. And when I say this, a lot of you anime fans are gonna think that's ridiculous because how did I get those two mixed up? Uh, this reminds me of Kaido's dragon from One Piece because uh, it's blue instead of the Dragon Ball Z dragon. I completely forgot that the Dragon Ball Z dragon is like green and does not look like this. <laughs> but it does look like, I think, Kaido's dragon or even like it has like a similar face to like Momonosuke in One Piece as well. But yeah, and I'll show you guys the blade. Okay, so this right here is the blade of the Day Katana. It's really nice. It has, you know, just like silver and sleek. It's pretty basic, but it like looks really nice. Uh, this is a really good like um, beginner katana if you aren't interested in buying a katana that's like from an anime or you don't want a katana that's battle ready or anything like that. I really do recommend the Day Katana or the Night Katana, which you will see in a second, because they're just really nice beginner katanas to have um, for display if you just are starting to collect uh, swords or katanas. Now that we got rid of the day katana, let's bring in the night. Here is our night katana. That was so scary, I thought it was gonna hit my face. <laughs> but it didn't, because I trust Trey. Okay. <laughs> Um, so here is our night katana again. Comes in a similar box, not exactly the same because as we know every box is different, like a snowflake. Um, but yeah, this is the box that the night katana comes in and let's get it open. So again, the night katana is the sister sword of the day katana. Um, so they look really good as a pair, I think. And I think you guys will really like this one. So obviously the night katana is gonna be black because of the night. Well, duh. Uh, it's really, really cool. Um, again, it's a really good beginner sword. And let me show you the other side. I don't know why I'm flipping it over like this. It's like the worst way to display something. I could just flip it over the other way, but it's fine. Um, so this is the Night Katana's pattern. It's very, very nice. It has like um, a dragon design as well, the same way that the Day Katana does. But this one's dragon style is a little bit more different. It's a little bit more abstract. Uh, the other one has like more of a face and everything like that. This one's kind of just like shapes and colors, which I think is really, really cool, especially with like the red contrast is really, really cool. Has a really nice suba. And again, this is a, a carbon steel sword, so it is not high carbon steel. So it's not battle ready, so it's, uh, it's blunted, but still be careful with it. Um, so it'd be really nice to display. And this right here is the blade. So the blade is about the same as the, I'm holding this like an uncomfortable way. So this right here is the blade. Pretty simple, just the exact same as the day katana, pretty sleek. It has like those, that nice little pattern on it as well, the hamon on it. Um, but yeah, again, these are really good beginner swords. If you're just getting into collecting katanas or swords, I really recommend these. If you wanna get any of these swords, you can find them on our website at fireandsteel.ca. They'll be linked in the description down below. If you like content like this, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can follow us on TikTok for even more Fire and Steel content. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed what you just watched, please check out the links in the description down below. And like always, please consider subscribing and comment, let us know what you think. We also have a lot of other videos. Please check them out. 
I know that you guys have mentioned a lot of times that you guys wanted to see some of these things demonstrated. So we have a lot of videos demonstrating how these actually do function. And we have a lot of videos of the behind the scenes at Fire and Steel. So thank you so much. See you guys next time.